This conference okay. so, will now be recorded. Oh, now we can record it. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Okay. And uh, yeah. yeah, and would Excel sheet put the date, please? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nicholas, any questions? No, no, no. We we were working on master receipt today. Is the, is the sheet is new today? Oh no. No, 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 no. I see. Okay. And after when you got time, you can also yes. email the sheet to. Sure, sure. Uh, yeah, well, so we were working on the master receipt today, and we, uh, and myself, I, I add the product uh, production version to the okay. through the master receipt, and okay. uh, so now I now all other process will be like w what we did in the past, you know. Uh, yeah, MD04, uh, MD02, MRP, yeah, and convert for the planet correct. order to process order. And I, I make everything automatic. Good issue and good yeah. issue. Correct. Okay. And uh, uh, you you need to go with the different transaction codes. Codes are different. Transaction code is different. Process is same. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, can we start the RIPTE to manufacturing? Yeah, I, I believe so. My, on my side, yes. My, I don't know Jamal. Is there a question? Jamal, yeah. are you ready? I'm here, Nicholas. I heard you. Your voice is, was unfiltered. You know, you had to be or come close to your speaker. No, no. I remove the speaker. I remove the speaker. I remove the oh. speaker. I, I'm talking from my phone direct. Okay. okay good okay good so okay. we are today we will discuss on the ripti to manufacturing this is a name itself you can say ripti to means mm -hmm. the product you are manufacturing repetitively means continuously mm -hmm. for those products you can use this process okay mm -hmm. continuous manufacturing Mm -hmm. And this you can use with the combination of discrete and process also. That means you have a you are manufacturing 10 products. Out of 10, 8 products are discrete, 2 mm -hmm. products are repetitive. So you can use this process repetitive. Mm -hmm. Okay. The what is the advantage is simple process. Reason is, for example, you are manufacturing a sugar. Mm -hmm. You are manufacturing sugar. Mm -hmm. So it will come from the sugar cane. So your output is always a sugar. You are not changing. Like mm -hmm. car manufacturing is you, are, uh, you will have a different model. Yeah. 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 You will have a different colors, a different variants, all are different. But the product like sugar, mm -hmm. you are manufacturing, so that sugar is same product. So you will continuously produce that. So it means uh, the, the repetitive manufacturing we can use in discrete process and repeated and, and uh, process and discrete. Correct. And uh -huh. you can use this as a separate also, like only your, your yeah. manufacturing is sugar. So I will mm -hmm. take only repetitive. I don't want any discrete or process. Oh yeah. I will take only repetitive. Right. As individually, you can do the process or mm -hmm. you can combine with discrete or process. So when we combine, mm -hmm. uh, can we combine in a same routing and same thing? No, no, different combined means it is a different material code itself. I will tell you example. Example, okay. you are manufacturing a Honda car. Mm -hmm. Different models, okay? Mm -hmm. Model one, model two, model three are different colors. All these you are manufacturing. But mm -hmm. for any model, mm -hmm. your engine is same. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. engine is my semi-finished product. Mm -hmm. This is SFG mm -hmm. and these models are FG. Mm -hmm. So in this case, mm -hmm. I will use this for discrete manufacturing. Mm -hmm. 
and this is for rip t2 hmm. okay yeah not for the same product different products you will use the process mm -hmm. is it clear yeah okay so this is the purpose okay and now what is the starting and ending process in sap mm -hmm. for any for discrete we are starting with uh, forecasting ending with the goods receipt so like right. this right. here also you have a starting and ending mm -hmm. okay the starting is creation of forecast so the, the transaction codes are uh, same in uh, repetitive or is different uh, one or two are different i will tell you okay okay here starting also because uh, this is a repetitive manufacturing you don't require maximum sales order is not required mm -hmm. correct mm -hmm. Because uh, sugar, you will just produce it and uh, send to your uh, uh, grocery shops. Consumers. They will sell. Yeah, consumers. So you don't require a sales order, but you should require independent requirement. Mm -hmm. Reason is this month or this week, how many uh, pounds of uh, tons or pounds you want to ma manufacture the sugar? Mm -hmm. How many bags of sugar you want to manufacture that plan you should have mm -hmm. okay so that is the reason first your first step is you need to create independent requirements mm -hmm. okay so then you created a independent requirements mm -hmm. then you need to run the mrp mm -hmm. to find what are the raw materials are required and when to manufacture this product mm -hmm. okay so then the mrp live is a, your second step mm -hmm. okay so then after mrp what you will get what is your output after mrp plan it or done yeah correct so here also you will get a planned order mm -hmm. If it is external procurement, purchase requisition will come. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Now, yeah. in discrete, what is the next step? Plan order to convert it. Production. Convert it to convert it to production order. Plan very order good, very to good. production. Okay. Here. Hmm. Production order. Hmm. Yeah, correct. This is a I told you simple process. Okay. Hmm. So as you are manufacturing same product continuously mm -hmm. the another step like production order is not at all required yeah. not at all required okay mm -hmm. here in repeat to you don't require production order mm -hmm. that is the major difference okay? but you need the good Repl issue and good receipt yeah that is required okay but that goods issue goods receipt we will do against a planned order only you don't require, oh, yeah hmm? you don't require production order i'm sorry we say again the, yeah yeah we will do the goods receipt and goods issue uh -huh. using planned order not the production order here because we don't have the production order in a repetitive manufacturing okay no production order in repetitive to manufacturing so the next step is only the goods moments okay yeah that is the difference okay, okay great can i ask you a question here uh, yeah, yeah sure if you don't yeah i'm sorry if you don't have a, a production order okay hmm. does mean one one step less but is there any impact if you don't have no. any any production order, that, that's it. Only one step gone. That's it. Yeah, no impact. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Not, not bad. So. Uh, okay. Planned orders. So we don't have any production orders here. Hmm. For your question, I will answer you later, Nicholas. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now we don't have the production order here 
okay only planned order then mm -hmm. after production order we are, what we are doing is we are confirming the production correct right yeah. okay so here also we will do the confirmation confirmation oh, means yeah yeah we don't have here a separate transactions for confirmation and goods receipt mm -hmm. in a product processor this one you have a process out of confirmation and goods moments you have mm -hmm. two different transaction codes here mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. two different transaction codes but mm -hmm. here we don't have separate transaction codes okay here only the single transaction code for your um, confirmation and goods receipt and goods issue for all you have a single transaction code that is called rem confirmation okay here what are the things you are doing planned order confirmation and a goods issue and gr all these three we will do in a single transaction mm -hmm. single step okay mm -hmm. so that is the reason this is a very simple process so mm -hmm. after rem confirmation you are doing the gr means you got the stock mm -hmm. you can check the stock mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. This is the process. Is it clear? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I will note down here the transaction code. What is the uh, transaction code for uh, REM confirmation? Yeah, I, I will tell coming. you. Now. Okay. Yeah, coming. 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 Okay. Uh -huh. Independent requirements. MD. What is the uh, independent? MD 61. MD 61. Oh, 61. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. MD 61. Yeah. yeah. MRP live. MD 01N. MD 01N. Correct. To know the planned orders, you can see our stock requirements list. MD 04. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Or you can go to the MD. MD 13 also. You can see planned orders. That is only single planned order. But here you can see the MD04. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, display plan or display plan orders. Okay. So now REM confirmation. For this, you have a separate transaction code called MFBF is a transaction code. MFBF. Okay. Mm -hmm. And a stock verification, you can see MMBA. Okay, mm -hmm. is it clear? Yeah, this this is very uh, limited uh, limited yeah. uh, production. Correct. Mm -hmm. As we'll, you we'll, don't, we will find the job in a sugar company. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But we don't have a we don't have sugar company here in America. No, no, there is a lot of here is in Chicago. Really. Yeah, there are two, uh, two, two companies they have, you know. You must have actually. Oh yeah, without of sugar. course. There is a with, how without sugar, how come yeah. fifty three states you can run all this candy restaurants and all kind yeah. of stuff. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> okay, so now the advantages I told you one is a continuous manufacturing and simple process. The third one is, hmm. for example, I told you engine is SFG. Okay, hmm. same engine you are manufacturing for all the products. Well, uh -huh. So, if if you are a consultant, uh -huh. business will ask you, engine, can I use the REM or discrete? Okay, then what you will suggest? Do you understand my question? Yes, REM is better. Yeah. Is that Are right you sure? No? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm asking you as a consultant, you should mm -hmm. explain to the client which one, which process is better. Okay. Yeah. Same. Yeah. 
which one is the better is i think the rem i think rem is better yeah as end user it is better right. but the end user is not deciding the process uh -huh. the process and everything is deciding by the management management right okay? now this whether this product should be a rem or discrete will be decided by the finance people hmm. the reason i will tell you okay mm -hmm. in discrete or uh, process mm -hmm. okay you will get the cost you will get the mm -hmm. cost of a product by order order based costing that means you have created one production order you can get a what is the cost of that production order Mm -hmm. that you can get in discrete and process industries order based costing means each order wise you can get what is the actual cost and what is the planned cost mm -hmm. okay but in rem mm -hmm. rem is a short form of repetitive manufacturing okay mm -hmm. but rem so is by a, operation mm -hmm. yeah rem is a period based costing period based ah, costing means okay. yeah means uh, you need uh, this year this one and other year the other one correct hmm. period based means this month total is the same cost next month or next quarter is a different cost okay mm -hmm. that is you will get here mm -hmm. that means engine if you make as a discrete today as per the raw material price or transport price or something else it mm -hmm. is thousand mm dollars -hmm. okay tomorrow maybe a one thousand ten dollars day after mm -hmm. tomorrow maybe a nine fifty dollars because of raw material changes or transport cost changes mm -hmm. or some other cost changes but mm -hmm. if you use the same product rem mm -hmm. over the period means this month it is thousand only next month maybe you can run the again the costing and maybe it is a thousand ten dollars okay so this is the major difference and this we want as a production person we won't decide whether it is a required period costing or order costing mm -hmm. that will be decided by the costing people right correct so that yeah. is the reason the process which we need to follow will be decided by the Manage. finance finance correct okay nicolas is it clear is it answered your question yeah yeah clear clear absolutely and can i ask a question uh, following you know uh, as you see like a yeah, period yeah. basic costing okay, is it is a period uh, for example you, you can uh, i don't know how we use it is it quora every three months maybe or every month or how how do yeah. you, how people use it usually and why generally quarter three months or quarter based yeah yeah quarter based yeah yeah okay great okay. thank you yeah thank you okay so mm. that is the purpose mm -hmm. now if you come to the production process these are the steps mm -hmm. i hope these steps are clear okay right. yeah now if you want to practice these steps first we need master data right okay hmm. what are the master data jama uh, yeah master data uh, material management mm01 okay material master. material management then yeah. work center okay boom and boom yeah routing okay and yeah. routing yeah any for a card if just in case if you need to buy material okay after routing and uh, then uh, version product version product version okay now these are the master data you need mm -hmm. it's a routing mm -hmm. they will call as rate routing okay so that in a repeated a repeated we call rate routing correct i see okay in repetitive manufacturing it looks like everything is same only 
Mm-hmm. Okay, but mm-hmm. this is called as routing, rate routing, sir. Yeah. Okay, and different transaction code, everything is there, but this is called a different name, rate routing. So the transaction for uh, other master data almost hmm. same except These the rate routing, same. right? Yes, these are same. MM01, work center CR01, BOM CS01, and this I forgotten. CS01. CA01 rate routing, but I don't know which no. one is this. CA01 is for routing. Eh? For rate routing, I need to see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. These are the master data. Uh-huh. Apart from this, uh-huh. actually, the costing people, they will run the costing. Uh-huh. Okay. As we don't have the costing people now, we will run the costing also. Uh-huh. Okay that the transaction code is KKF6N. Sorry, KKF6N. This actually the costing people they will do. We don't require. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is called PCC product cost collector. Product cost collector. Okay. This is also we need to run before going for a transactions. Okay, mm-hmm. so but this is a finance costing people they will do. I see. Okay. Is it clear? Yeah. Any questions till now? No. Okay. Okay. So just now to find out rate routing. Uh, yeah, yeah. T uh, code. Yeah, yeah. Sure. I will find out. The path for repetitive manufacturing is logistics, and this is inside of the product model. We don't have a separate path here like process. Okay. Open production, and here you can see repetitive manufacturing. You expand it under master data. Under master data. Uh, okay. We don't have here. So if the transaction code is not here, means it is in a normal path only. Master data, routing, routing, and here you can see rate routing. And the transaction code is CA21. Okay. Transaction code is CA21. Okay. That was CA01. This is CA21. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So now we will create master data and I will show you the what is the difference in material master. I see. Okay. 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 So only master data wise, only the difference is material master only. You need mm-hmm. to maintain separate one setting for material master. Okay. What is that? I will tell you now. Mm-hmm. Now I am creating material master. Yeah. MM01. Mm-hmm. I am creating sugar is our product. Mm-hmm. So somebody is created. Okay. I am putting sugar underscore REM. Okay. And you can use this is any chemical industry or normal industry also. Yeah. And this is our foot material. And you can press center. Uh-huh. You can select the same views. Same views. There is no separate view. Mm-hmm. And our plant is double seven double seven. Yeah. Storage location triple zero one. Mm. And okay. And sugar is our product. And sugar you will measure in pounds. Right. Okay. 
LB. LB. Yeah. And in MRP one, same steps means there is no LB. change here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These settings are same. You don't require any specific settings. Exactly. Actually. Yeah. And procurement type in house is E. Mm -hmm. And you can enter these settings are same mrp3 also same strategy make to stock same and yeah. yeah and then press mrp4 so here the difference is how you will differentiate whether it is a discrete material or repetitive material is here you can see in the bottom in mrp4 you so need to activate this yeah you need to activate this checkbox I see. Okay. Okay. You need to activate this checkbox. Mm -hmm. Same way, you need to select the profile. Like in work scheduling view, we used to select the one profile, production scheduling profile. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like that, you need to select one profile here, REM profile. Mm -hmm. Okay. You need to select, you can select first one triple zero one okay so these two are the changes so only that is only the change okay mrp4 mrp4 view select rem checkbox and enter rem profile okay these two are the settings specific to rem jamal clear yes sir okay so then uh, work scheduling this one is standard the profile is, is it a standard profile or we can make yeah, our that, profile? Is a, that is a standard one if you want we can create in configuration also okay i will no tell problem. you what is that actually profile okay yeah. mm -hmm. okay now here uh, work scheduling view nothing to be filled nothing is uh, required to fill. the other thing is uh, the question i have since yeah. we are uh, working on finished product and for mm. finished product go with the products version but we are not checking the products version here you know? because we are not yet created bom and routings if you want to create production version you can create but mm. inside of the production version you should assign what you should assign bomb and routing details right yeah, those are not yet created those are not yet created that is the reason we are not filling this now yeah. Okay. Now, next is only accounting views. This is normal. Mm -hmm. 7920, and you can put the price here. Mm -hmm. And next, press enter, press enter, press enter, and save it. Oh. Okay. I, yeah, yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah. Did I create it? Yeah. Uh, so I created the sugar underscore mm -hmm. REM. Just I want to check. Okay. Okay. We will create now one component also, the raw material mm -hmm. that is sugar cane. Okay, sugar cane raw material will create that we buy from the vendor, right? Correct. We will buy it from vendor, and there is no difference for REM. Whether it is REM or discrete, there is no difference for purchased materials. Mm -hmm. Okay.
so same we don't require any uh, specific settings here mm -hmm. so i am putting the standard settings mm -hmm. So I have created the raw material as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now we can create the BOM for this. Mm -hmm. Next master is BOM. CS01 is a transaction for BOM. And we are manufacturing REM sugar. I will note down the material number also. REM and sugar cane. Okay. So this is same normal item category L and sugar cane and score cane. And for one, it is maybe two LB. Okay. You can save it. There is no difference or there is no specific settings for REM. Okay. Create it. Now routing. Sorry. Work center. I'm creating work center and work center also there is no difference. Okay. So we can use the same work center. Yes. If we can use, we can use the same work center also. So we will use the same work center. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do we have created work center in this plant. I think we are not created work center in this plant. Okay. I am creating just the work center here. Okay. Work center. I am not mm, same work center you can create. No difference. Okay, so I am using the same control key PP01, and you can use our, our. yeah, and the capacity is 001, and you can use the capacity. Hour and mission is running from morning 6 to maybe 22 hours and break one hour. Capacity utilization 100%, number of capacities 1, and you can use this for multiple operations also. Okay. And yes. here you can enter the formulas. Yeah. So 5%. And this for this one, and in the scheduling also, it is zero zero one. Set up SAP zero one, and this one is zero two. Okay, and costing. So I am entering this cost center details. Okay. Any questions? Jamal
No, 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 but should we fill up anything here in this screen? Casting? Oh, no, 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 forget it. No, no, casting, forget it. Okay, no, no, no. Okay. So you can save it. So we created one work center also. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now we will go to the rate routing. Yeah. Okay. So for rate routing, it looks like everything is same like your routing only and the name only yeah. change okay no change like a recipe master recipe is having the total change but here no change mm -hmm. so here you can once you open this this transaction rate routing you will enter the material plant and then press enter profile no not required mm -hmm. just press enter Okay, just like routing only, and you says you will enter first. It is for production, and status is for release general, and then click on operations. Just like routing only, 10, 20, 30 operations will be there. You can enter our work center. And you enter the processing step like you want to do the first um, uh, crushing. Crushing, yeah. Or taking the juice out. Yeah, first they will crush it. Okay. For crushing, maybe setup is one hour, mission is one hour it is taking. Okay. And in the second operation, filtering yeah okay you can say filter okay like this you can add some operations number four okay. number three is uh, boiling yeah boiling or uh, all these things you can add it okay right. yeah okay so and same like routing all no difference mm -hmm. okay and you can save it. Yeah. Nicholas, clear? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Okay. <laughs> so this is also created one group. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, next master data is a production version. Okay. Yeah. 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 We can go to the routing and we can add it there, or we no, similar no. what we did in processing, or we have to go to the article. Correct. We need to go to the article all. You okay, we'll like to, we don't have. We we'll go to material master, right? Correct. Yeah. We yeah. we don't have this option to do it in the routing. Like what Correct. we did in the processing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So now MM02, select mm -hmm. the your FG material. MRP4. And you can select MRP4. And mm -hmm. so click on production version so one difference is there here okay I will tell you what is the difference so normally we will enter all these things discrete okay mm -hmm. production mm -hmm. version for sugar mm -hmm. and there it is takes... a R flag no yeah, correct correct yeah so we will enter the from date to date mm -hmm. okay and mm -hmm. You can go to the details now. But the version is the same, PV01, right? Yeah, that is any name you can put. PV01, I am putting any name you can put. Yeah. Whatever you like. Okay. Yeah. So here, now task uh, list. Type. Which one we need to select? Uh, red routing R. Red routing R. Correct. Correct. Okay. So here, you need yeah. to select red routing. Okay. See, we are now clever students, you know. Yeah, yeah. Correct. Yeah. So now you set your group number. Right. Okay. That's the one. Now this Bombing. group number uh, is automatically system will uh, search it. Correct. Yeah. And now bomb usage. Bomb. Correct. This one. So and then practice well. Good. Yeah. And then check. Now, then three yeah. traffic lights. Yeah, before check, 
mm-hmm. the one difference for repetitive manufacturing is you need to tick mark this one oh yeah this is uh-huh. the difference actually right 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 okay mm-hmm. check mark rem rem allowed mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. this is the change from yes. normal to rem mm-hmm. okay and now you can click on check mm-hmm. task list exist oh. by exist mm-hmm. great okay. close green light yeah both are green okay continue ready to go okay so mm-hmm. that check mark you can do from here also tick mark oh. here also or there also it will come Okay. We will do. Oh, sorry, where we? You talk about the other check uh, RM, the same this one, yeah. Yeah. RM allow yeah, it. Correct. Yeah. If, if this article will, will be, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Nicholas. No, no. Uh, usually, from where we expect that to here or from there, uh, just to anywhere you can put. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> do not forget it, man. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, R is uh, means we. Uh, physically you can check it, or allow it. Or it's uh, when you check in the back side it will automatically check so when you check in the in a previous screen okay right. details screen right. this will come automatically automatically okay that's Both are same only you tick right. mark this one uh-huh. so it will appear here also right right okay. here here it looks like a repetitive uh, uh, factory. This one is related to repetitive manufacturing. Is that right? Correct. Repetitive. Correct. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Correct. Okay. No. Problem. So, okay, okay. how the system identifies this is a repetitive or not? Because of this indicator, it will identify that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, click on continue button, mm-hmm. and then you can save it. Mm-hmm. So, is it clear? Our master data. Yeah. yeah correct okay. good now we need to do this product cost collector okay i will show you how to do this one now you say okay. the product cost collector is the finance right correct but, yes. but nobody is there know. here yeah no yeah. finance guy here unfortunately right. we right. cannot recruit uh now one time, just okay. for one transaction code yeah correct okay so now i am so where is that function yeah in repetitive manufacturing you can see under repetitive manufacturing under master data you can see product cost collector okay so this is the transaction code kkf6n okay open this transaction code It will show you display product cost collector. Hmm. It's very simple. Okay. So here, enter your material and plant. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hmm. Then click on create button. Create, yeah. Okay. Create mm-hmm. product cost collector. Mm-hmm. Click on this button. What you select? What you select? Cancel. So here yeah, okay. in the top, you can see create button is there. Okay, that's it. You I don't need to. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Just okay, no click on, Yeah. Click on this button. So one pop-up yeah. box will come. Mm-hmm. Okay. Here, enter already material came, plan came, and order type you need to select RM01. It is already came default. Mm-hmm. If it is not coming, you can select it. Mm-hmm. Okay. And here the options you have production version mm-hmm. select this radio button mm-hmm. and then you need to enter what is the your production version created in material yeah. master we created production version okay mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. we created pv01 you need to enter that pv01 here okay mm-hmm. if you did not remember you can click on the f4 list and you can find also mm-hmm. okay this is the production version pv01 mm-hmm. you select that so in this 
tab we have enter only production version and confirm and then click on confirm okay profit it is center. saying no profit center is enter okay and that is error so let me enter one profit center in material master go to the material master go to the accounting i think costing view okay accounting here you can enter the profit center i will note down here also okay enter profit center actually this also finance people they will give we won't maintain actually okay mm -hmm. profit center in costing one view okay so you can enter any profit center so this will reflect to there yeah I see. it won't reflect but it will say it is there actually I see. okay so you can select any profit center no problem mm -hmm. pckv okay mm -hmm. and save it Now, once again, I'm going to this product cost collector mm -hmm. material plant. Click on create button. So we enter only production version and click on confirm. So now it is accepted. Okay. So once you click on that button, some data populate here. The okay. All cost, these are the now this uh, profit center come and uh, plant cost. Mm. actual cost cost sheet correct, correct. where these all so, comes from so this is uh, people. yeah fi people they will configure this we are okay. not doing it okay okay mm. okay now this automatically this data it will get populated populated so you just, yeah you just they click on save button integrated with the profit center correct so just a click on save button we don't require to enter anything mm -hmm. is it clear yeah yeah okay click on save so create preliminary cost it is asking create yes mm -hmm. so costing item is not assigned to a cost component costing item I don't know. Mm -hmm. okay some cost is generated okay cost created with order and production process okay it is created okay mm -hmm. so now so all your master data is ready ready okay mm -hmm. any questions on this no now mg61 okay. yes correct now one by one we will go here mm -hmm. So we are going to test now testing first we will go with the MD 61 right. so you can go directly MD 61 I think you know this very well right. enter material plant and press center mm -hmm. okay you can enter some quantities this month maybe a 10 next month is 20 you want to produce you can select and save it okay that is the first step md61 now in next step you need to run md md01 and yeah. Yeah. md01 n so these are the standard transaction codes there is no difference either it is a mrp or either discrete or process rem okay Gener generated yeah generated click on execute okay, okay. so materials are planned you can come back 
Yeah. You can check your planned orders. Oh yeah, or, or MD13, no? The same. No, yeah. MD13, if you know the planned order number, you can go on display. Otherwise, better okay, 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 use the stock requirements list. Yeah. Material mm -hmm. plant press center. Mm -hmm. yeah. We created two independent requirements mm -hmm. and system is generated two planned orders. Okay. Mm -hmm. And here, one important thing is generally if you click this button, details button, bottom you will get convert to production order or process order purchase requisition all buttons will come here nothing but, yeah as this is a repetitive manufacturing those buttons will mm. not come that is the difference yeah maybe here you can do the good issue good receipt confirmation or no 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 you cannot do it from here now okay no problem no, okay you cannot do okay no problem okay. so this is the difference means for planned order and production order okay mm -hmm. so you won't find any conversion okay yeah. and if you want to try to convert also system will not allow you i know you yeah okay the system is not offer this yeah correct mm -hmm. okay and so what is the next step piece this is also done so confirmation okay uh, i think for today it is a too much subject i told you i think okay i will stop the class now is it okay yeah that's fine is yeah. it fine yeah, yeah okay. fine yeah because okay. this step will have the uh, little explanation if i yeah. start it now it may not end in uh, four or five minutes okay yeah. okay Okay. Tomorrow we will we will discuss on this confirmation. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Yeah, thank uh, please thank complete you. your process manufacturing and uh, you can start this one. Yeah. Okay. Practice. And, uh, yeah. The we, we don't have any problem with the system, right? Server. Yeah. yeah. You won't have any problem with the server. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We need uh, two three minutes. We finish the process uh, for the process. Yeah. I think. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. Thank you. Exactly. Thanks. Okay. Okay, okay, thank you. Have a nice night. Bye. Bye. You too. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. And uh, can you send the Excel sheet, please? Yeah, yeah, sure. Thank After you. this call, I will send yeah. it to you. Yes. Okay. Yeah.